guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mira Lisa and this is the Girl Miss Yarn. This week I'm gonna do a recap of the new knitted patterns that have been released in the month of September 2023. I'm going to uh, talk about some sweaters, cardigans, and some special mentions. I'm gonna give you all the information that you need, sizes that uh, are included per pattern, uh, yarn weight, um, and then price. And some people have asked me to do a little bit of styling. I cannot do that on all because I have, I don't know, like 14 sweaters, eight cardigan, two men, like three other mentions, and um, it's gonna take me forever. So I wanna try to be as fast as possible. I'm gonna be looking down because I have my computer right here with um, the image. So I give you guys a little bit on a filter impression, and then here it's my iPad. So um, I'm not like looking at myself. I'm just looking at the information. So I mean, I am as accurate as possible. So let's start. <laughs> I will lie if I told you that I had such a bad timing going through Ravelry and kind of like doing all the digging and searching for the new pattern releases. It was actually kind of fun. It was a lot of, a lot. There's a, like, I don't want to say thousands, but like hundreds of new patterns out there. And um, in this um, rundown of sweaters, I'm going to start with sweaters. I'm going to give you guys, um, you know, patterns as they appear to me. There's no special order to, to them. Um, I did not add uh, any kind of like big box or like big company, like, I don't know, like Wolfolk or Rowan or anything like that. I'm gonna just focus on small or medium indie designers. And, um, and I have a couple that, I have everything. I have some that are more uh, evolved or more like an advanced, and then some that are more for beginners. So we have everything for everybody. So let's start. Number one is uh, the Adult Popcorn Pullover, and I'm reading right here, uh, by Studio Misha and Puffs. Uh, this one comes in five sizes. Uh, it to fit a chest of 43 to 54, so it's kind of like oversized. Um, it's uh, done in worsted weight yarn, and it's $10. And you guys know, <laughs> I love a good popcorn sweater. I have not knitted one, and I don't know why. I Maybe that's gonna be my winter to do, or to be knitted, because I love, I hate making bubbles, but I love a popcorn sweater. This one is oversized. It has a little muck neck, kind of like high neck, drop shoulders. It looks like um, it's knitted uh, in the round and then you're going to actually divide uh, for front and back yoke. And then um, shoulder are gonna be sewn together and then you add the sleeve. So a little bit of um, structure there. So you can use this with everything. I think it depends on the yarn that you use. Right now she used uh, a solid, but I think you can do whatever yarn you want. So that's so pretty. Let's let's move on to the Saki Pullover by the Petite Knit. This is so beautiful and I love that she has a bunny because uh, the color work has bunnies on there and some moons and even some clouds. It's so cute. So this is um, fingering weight yarn. It's done uh, in a size 1 to 10 or 32 inch chest to 69 and this one costs $10. You guys know I am... I love color work and I actually am quite fast and I knit super, super, super fast, but um, I don't use them as much. So I don't know, maybe I need to do something like this that is just like two tones, no speckles, and very uh, neutral, so it will not clash with my wardrobe, but I mean, a color work sweater is just forever and ever. I mean, classic, Let's just classic, so I may, I may go back to color work because um, it's been a while. So let's move on. Um, another color work. This is so cute. Uh, this is Pretty Boxes by Corey Aschelberger. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. Um, I love her. We follow each other on Instagram. And um, this one is her new design. Uh, this one right here is uh, a short sleeve version, but it's, it has a long sleeve version as well and a longer body as well. Um, this one has color work on the yoke. I think all over because you have a little bit of um, dotty dotted eyes um, on the body 
on the body. Um, this is uh, to fit a size 33 to 61 and it uses DK yarn and it's $8. So it's so cute and um, I think the boxes are so cute as well. I, I mean, I, I, what can I say? She looks so cute. So, so cute. Okay, moving on. Sipora sweater by the Crafty MD. The Crafty MD. What is it? The Crafty MD. This one is done for a size um, 28 or extra small to uh, 62 inch chest or size 5X. Uh, L. Uh, this one is $7.50. It's made in worsted weight and I mean it's it's bubbles. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Um, this one I think you can uh, shorten it. Uh, do probably like I will do actually like a solid for the body and then kind of like fun bubbles. Um, you know that will change colors throughout. Um, I will shorten it for sure but I will keep the long sleeve. So it's so, I think, so customizable. And then you have a little bit of that, but you're not doing all over the sweater, so uh, actually it will be, you will struggle less. <laughs> let's put it that way, it's so, so, so cute. Okay, a pr uh, let's, let's, let's move on. And surprise, surprise, if you've been following me for a long time, um, you're gonna be like, what? Yes, I have added a new design by Caitlin Hunter. If you have followed me for a long time, you know, you, you know. You know what's up. Um, I said I was never going to knit anything from this designer and I may have changed my mind. <laughs> this is so beautiful. This is the Tukka sweater by Caitlin Hunter. It's $9. It's made in worsted weight yarn and it's to fit a 36 inch to 72 inch chest. And um, I am not kidding. It's so... It's so beautiful, it's so delicate. Um, she did a uh, published sweater version and a cardigan version. There are separate PDFs, so I think both are the same amount of money and to fit the same chest, the same thing. It's just uh, the, you know, the, the difference of just being a cardigan. I, I love it. I think it's gonna happen. I know, I'm gonna be eating my words. <laughs> Gladly, okay, gladly. Let's move on. Uh, this is the Groovy Genser sweater by Shai Johnson, and this one is a color work, color work again. You guys know I love it. I wish I would grab it more often, actually. Um, this one is to fit a size 32 uh, inch chest to 66 uh, inch chest. Um, is uh, $12 done in worsted, I don't know if I said that. And um, I will use, a, I don't know, like a spin cycle changing color um, for the color work and then keep it solid for the bot, like, like the main color. I love this. She looks so freaking cute. It looks so much fun. And um, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I have changed my mind. <laughs> What's going on? Color work is fun. I just, I just need to make it work. Anyway, okay, let's move on, let's move on. Okay, so next one is the Piping Hot Sweater by uh, Lily Kate Franz. Uh, this one is a $9.50. Uh, it's made to fit a chest of 37 to 57 or size one till nine. It's done in DK weight yarn and I love this thing. This is what I mean when we want classic with a twist. This is it. It's um, like an, a little oversized. You have that piping detail that you can go wild to. I think they will be so beautiful with just like um, just uh, solid colors but also if you want to do like a speckle on <laughs> that weird skein that you bought and you cannot mix it with anything, this is your time to make it shine with this uh, piping going down on the front and the sleeves so so cute and um, I have uh, made patterns from her before and her patterns are so 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 good let's move on okay the pendant pullover by Taylor Owen another youtuber here I love her videos. This one is done uh, with uh, fingering weight yarn and lace for a DK weight, or you can use DK. It's to fit a size 37 chest to 70 or size 1 to 12. It's $8. And um, it's kind of it's kind of cute because you have the design. It's kind of like a little um, cable situation right here. And um, 
the name pendant and just feel like you have you just like dabble into the cables but you didn't do the you know the full the, the full commitment to a bunch of cables so great detail she used a solid but i think this one will you if you do a tonal or a yarn that have some speckle but not too much they're not competing with a bunch of speckles um the pendant or the design will still stand up and i love that is a little crop you guys know i love crop stuff but this one you can make it as long as you want so i will use this with everything and i have forgotten to tell you guys how to style it but you guys you guys have great so i don't know i don't know why you guys want me to tell you how to style it so next one is the stuk sweater by olga putano i met her in rhinebeck last year and she's so so i don't I, she's just so gentle like she's just like the cutest person um this one, I guess, is her Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck sweater, and this one is uh, from size 1 to 6, or to fit a 42-inch to 83-inch chest. She used a DK weight yarn. This pattern is $8.50, and um, I love that it's um, kind of minimal, if you want to say that. There's a lot, of co a lot going on here, but nothing is competing with anything. It's just very flowy whimsical it's so beautiful you have a uh, detail on the hem and on the cuffs and i think she did a great job with um having or knitting this with a solid yarn but i think also if you have a little tonal or very little speckles this will look really really cute so well done i love her designs <laughs> moving on to a thriller moment no you're not seeing this this is not a deja vu is andrea maori she came out with uh the weekender crew okay um again <laughs> she just reworked the neck for the people who doesn't like the boat neck as the original pattern had and i know some people hate it um i actually don't like it as much sometimes you just get cut into i don't know like you feel like you're choking you're actually not it's just like whatever um this one she reworked like i said the neck and then she made a new pdf for nine dollars <laughs> this one used dk with yarn is from size zero to nine and it's to fit it's a chest 34 inch to 70 so a little oversized so i think the uh, positive is is from six to eight something like that so if you have not jumped into the bandwagon with everybody else in this community because you didn't like the neck, here is your chance to be part of our clicky <laughs> group. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh my God, this one is so beautiful. I love it. This is the Lico sweater by Florence Sorling. This is done in a fingering weight yarn. This is $9 to fit a chest uh, 30 inch to 65 inch. Um, it has a positive ease of one. And I love, 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 love this kind of knitting. And I forgot the name of it. Um, but I, I started making a, a cardigan, which I am going to frog because I decided that everything that is a year old is going to get frogged because I am not going to even de decipher where I'm at right now. So everything is going to get frogged in my house. And um, I had the exact same technique. But this one is calling my name. It's so beautiful. And I have a yarn for it, actually. Maybe I use that yarn for this. So beautiful. So many possibilities i love love the little flower motif going down the yoke for a little kind of like i don't know framing up the face so so beautiful let's move on to something for the beginners uh this is the even easy eyelet sweater by knit attitude this one is made in bulky she used a lion brand uh yarn so if you want to just go ahead and try your hand on sweaters this probably will be it for you you have a little design there with the eyelets or if you want to start doing your gift um, knit and you want something more than socks probably this is, will be for you because you're gonna knit this one so fast because it's a bulky weight yarn um, this one is eight dollars is uh, to fit a size 29 uh, chest uh, to 62 chest inch um, and like I said perfect for beginners and you can use what any kind of yarn um, from fancy to this one which by the way I love that yarn that she used 
This one is the Boxy Blue by Beth McDonald's Down, my girl. I love her designs. I have, my mom and I, we love this <laughs> sweater. I forgot the name of it um, right now, but uh, we both, my mom and I, my mom have made it twice. I made it once and I love it. Um, she is such a beautiful designer in person. I met her in Rhinebeck as well. And um, she has a new podcast, so go ahead and check her out. Um, she did uh, draft this sweater because she wanted something really oversized. And you have tight uh, arms but the body is kind of like loose um, this one is to fit a size 47 or the measurements for the sweaters are 47 to 75 they're supposed to be you know just like oversized it's boxy right um, this one she used worsted way yarn and it's eight dollars and I am knitting that one <laughs> right now and i'm using the same yarn that she used but i'm adding a thread of a little poofy poofy thing on it and i am so excited i started it and i made a mistake and i had to restart it again because <laughs> anyway last last one is the warp and wolf by jesse made design this one is so beautiful the yarn is something the technique is insane this one is done in worsted weight yarn to fit a size 70 i'm um, sorry a chest 28 70 28 inch to 60 inch chest this one is ten dollars and it's this is so so cute it's a raglan top down so cute here uh, is a little crop but i think um it will be no biggie to just extend that to the length that you want because uh, I don't know about me but I I like crop but I don't have I don't, I don't like to have my belly up just saying so that's sweaters that's how many 14 of them that let's move on to cardigans <laughs> I love them. I love to wear them. I hate to knit them. We need to, you and I, move out of that funk. Cardigans are great. Um, let's start with uh, the first one. This is the Kluka Cardigan by Iceberg Garn. This one is uh, in sizes extra small to extra large. You use a DK weight yarn. It's a uh, garter, garter stitch and um, is uh, $10. So she used fingering fingering for a DK weight yarn. It's a two tone garter stitch, like I said. It looks like brioche. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. I don't know why. It's just calling my name and the possibilities are endless. You can do a uh, very speckle yarn for the main and then a boring one for the contrast or vice versa. The possibilities are endless. But whatever you do just keep one solid so you it stands out and you don't blend whatever design is on the hem away and also I don't know why she buttoned the last button you never button the last button you're saying just like looks like don't do that <laughs> let's that okay <laughs> Next one, Granny Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. Um, this is to fit, uh, or the, the the design is uh, quite oversized. It's a, a grand, you know, somebody, some, you stole this from your grandma, okay? Um, this <laughs> this is uh, done to fit, or the sizes of this sweaters is, uh, of this, of this cardigan. Oh my God, I cannot talk. The size for this cardigan uh, is 38 inches to 70 inches. Um, this is done in DK weight yarn. It's eight dollars, and for the love of God, it's so beautiful. The only thing that I will do differently is I will cut this shit out because this is. I I think it's way too long. <laughs> I I just want. It, it's not because okay. So this hear me out. It's not because the design is wrong. It's just like, why do two repeats of this chart if you can cut it and we will have the same effect? Make, make sense? Some people will love to have the length, but length means more yarn and then more effort. And um, after going through the sweater that I just finished with a bunch of cables, I am a little traumatized. Okay, so I'll cut two repeats of this thing and make it shorter. Uh, but it's 
so beautiful well done i we know she is um so amazing <laughs> if you are not into a bunch of cables this cardigan may be the one for you this is the calyx cardigan and i didn't wrote that down who made this design i mean what's going on um this is uh done in a dk weight yarn is to fit a size 40 inch chest to 63 pretty much a size one to nine it's gonna be an oversized thing it's so freaking cute it's eight dollars and um you have a little bit of cable there but not too much you have some going down the sleeve and then on the hem right in the front and that's it um you know you will have a little bit of it but not the trauma of the entire thing being uh, a cable cardigan although although a thing uh, like an entire cable cardigan is who wants to knit it no and again just like a commitment anyway let's move on so beautiful i think this one beautiful if you have a solid whatever color just probably like a cream or a gray or a black or a tonal or soft speckles i'm gonna go uh, hard on the um you know speckle puke so so cute okay let's <laughs> moving on to uh sari norland Qtar wrap cardigan. Um, I have to say, I love her stuff. This one, not my favorite at all. Um, this is uh, to fit a size 31 chest to 62 inch chest, size one till nine, is made in uh, fingering and lace for a DK weight overall. Uh, yarn is $8 and uh, it's so delicate, but I don't feel like it's very practical. I think what it's throwing me off is that tie on the side, um, but it's not a, like full ballerina. I don't know. I just feel like maybe if um, I had something more midi to maybe a ribbon, I don't know. I think it's pulling weird, so but I wanted it to give you guys my honest opinion. <laughs> my honest opinion, um, and even though I love her, uh, this is not my favorite, but um, let's move on. Saguaro Cardigan by Camille K. This one is gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make this one. It's so beautiful, okay? This one is done in a uh, size extra small to extra large. Um, is eleven dollars? Didn't you have the chest measurements? It's that in fingering weight yarn. This thing is so beautiful. Everything is seamless. She showed all the details on the shoulder and the poofy out. Everything is done in mohair, and it it just screams bougie. It's so beautiful, and I think this one can get away using whatever yarn so if you have one of those very special yarns that you bought in this festival and you don't know what to use it for this one will be for you you will have this forever if you do a solid you will have it for longer right but um this one so beautiful eleven dollars the only thing <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, Millie Cardigan by Irene Lynn, one of my favorites. Her and um, Sarah Norlin, they're hand in hand, right there, right now. Uh, this one is a size one to eight, or to fit a 35 chest in chest to 61 chest. This one is 750, is a fingering weight yarn. I bought it. I printed, old fashioned, old lady way, right? I went through the charts. And I was like, I am not ready. <laughs> I need a moment. It's so beautiful. It's uh, it's uh, a raglan. The details are insane. It's so beautiful. But the shorts are a little something. So this one is the short sleeve version. You can do it also in a long sleeve version. It's so beautiful. I have the yarn. I just have to. I just have to stop reading, and then have time to sit down and um. Do this thing because it's so cute and i think it's gonna be although it's gonna be a pain in you know where uh with the shorts it's gonna be very short pain it's not gonna be like ho he long pain you know this one is like just like a little snack of pain so it's just one of those pleasure pressure pleasurable, pleasurable <laughs> pains <clears throat> 
Next one is uh, our beautiful friend Christina modeling the Cozy Cardigan by Shina Villo. This one is done uh, with fingering and DK for a bulky weight yarn. Um, this one comes in size extra small to 4XL. It's $8 and I have knitted from Shina Villo. Uh, Villo before <laughs> and her patterns are really um easy to follow i feel if you again want to dip your toes on cardigan making this will be the perfect snack to get yourself situated with all that lingo it is so cute um here in this picture is uh in a solid um yarn but you can also or she has another view with speckles and oh my god so good so beautiful actually i feel this is going to be again one of those it's a little chilly put it on on your pajamas if you're going out you can lift it up or or you know bring it down you can also add a little ribbon and just close it up the possibilities are endless so moving on <laughs> and last last cardigan is the leaf lace leaf cardigan by rebecca clow this is done in worsted weight yarn um to fit a 33 chest to 65 in chest this one is nine dollars and i love this color combination she gives you tons of you know extra bonus content for you to you know get your colors i think right now she has a color blocking going on which is really cute um but you can also instead of doing like a solid pink or solid yellow you can do speckles so different speckles will look really really cool also so that is it for cardigans let's move on to the last we're not gonna have as much but we almost there <laughs> the special section this is uh, I'm gonna have a slip over a vest and a shawl okay so starting with the herbarium slip over this one is by love knit NL this one is done uh, for to fit a chest of 28 inches to 54 or XL to 3 XL this one is eight dollars and 84 cents because it's like euro so I'm trying to convert it to dollars um this one is done in iron weight yarn and um i think it's a mix of worsted with lace so so cute for, perfect for layering all those vests are super trendy and um i think it's never gonna be out of style like if you are a little cold you can have this on your you know on your purse same as a scarf so it's just so cute and um i love the little i don't know i just feel like bougie I don't know what. <clears throat> I love that trend. <laughs> that transitional piece for sure. Let's move on. This one. I bought it. Okay. I printed. I had the same, same reaction of the Millie cardigan. What's going on? Number one, you need it. Number two, what was she thinking when she decided that she was going to use a 1.5 US needle for this thing this is what you need 1.5 this is like that is the needles that you use for socks they're toothpicks okay um this one is the bifurca vest um i love it it's so beautiful for uh teti lussac she has a youtube channel here as well um she used dk weight yarn this one is eight dollars and fifty cents and it's to fit a chest of 30 inches to 62 inches or size one to nine this yeah, this uh, color work design is done in the round. You start by casting on 2,000, <laughs> a lot of stitches, and then you work that entire color work, and then you do the sides. I, I'm going to take a moment right here. I saw the same needles when I was doing that. What was that uh, Junko Okamoto one that I struggle like you have no idea it's my favorite i'm not saying that because the needles are smart i'm not gonna like enjoy wearing this thing it's so beautiful i bought it right away okay just saying you need it as well um it's going to be something will i stop traffic with this thing <laughs> i mean yes of course so um so beautiful last 
special mention is the Soho Square by Jackie Rose. You guys know I don't do shawls, I don't do any of that, but this one sing to my heart. Number one, she's my friend, and of course I'm going to add it here. And number two, I mean Mondrian lookalike uh, shawl, yes is so beautiful. This one is done in a fingering weight yarn. She used, um, uh, it's $10 and then this one, it comes in three sizes. And she did a video on how to, you know, uh, style it and uh, how to pick your colors. I think this will be so nice to do it in color blocking solid or also if you want to go a little daring and do like some solids and some speckles. She used some bougie yarn from, um, what is it, um, Lamb and Kid, but she also um, did it with the Pearl Soho Linen Quill, so you can do whatever you want with this thing. It's so beautiful, and you can uh, actually customize it to fit your needs. If you're like me, I have a little bit of like color combo going on in my closet. A lot of things that can go with each other it makes it even more is make it easier for me to get dressed but um with this one you can tie your or make um i don't know like a basic if you want to say that like a little teacher you kind of like you know dress it up um and you can do the little one i want to do the little one instead of the big one because you guys know i don't do scarves because i get quite hot quite often that's it. I hope this video was not super long. So those are the new patterns released this month. And I hope you found some interesting. Add it to your favorites. And um, that's it. I'm going to see you guys next week. I don't know when I'm going to show you guys. So until then, happy knitting. Bye. <laughs>